Hello, this is the walkthrough for room 1 in the test subject 395 escape room. Yes, so first of all we need to get through this door and there's only one thing to do. We need to go get the hammer and we're just going to punch this big button. Yes, there we are. Now we need to, we need to get through this room. Actually the end is over here. This is an elevator that will take us up to the next part. First of all, let's look at what's in here. We have some cubes and a lift. So, first of all, to solve these, uh, you have to get up here. And uh, up there you'll find the clue for how these works, but essentially you need to put these pipes into the right corners and they are represented by different colors. So let's first get up here. Actually this is a bug. You're not supposed to be able to put down your lift here, but you can actually use that to get up, up there. I, I actually don't know how this works because as far as I know, you're only supposed to be able to put your lift down where you can actually touch the building floor. But I don't know how this works. It doesn't work in any other room. But here you can actually put your lift on top of the floor instead of the actual building floor. But what you were supposed to do was to sort of build a block. Um, oh, and then just get it over there somehow and use that uh, platform to get up into this yes okay so here we have the first clue this what this is supposed to mean is that this is a black corner bottom left with a, uh, a purple color in it so that must refer to the pipe and here we have another clue which more or less means at one of the others you have to switch the colors so blue becomes orange and the other way around and green becomes purple okay let's see if we can remember that first let's go with purple inside a black bottom left corner so the only place we have a bottom left corner is this one so that means we must put that one down there that should be okay. Then the only place we had the other colors in the clue was up here and what was it again? We had to change them. So this one is actually uh, orange and this one is actually blue. So we need to put them like this. That means this one is actually blue and goes into blue one and this one is actually orange and it goes into this one and also with these two and the last one here since there aren't any clues anywhere to solve that we just go by the colors and let's see that worked there we are this is the first thing we need to finally solve this room and here we also have some clues let's first look at this you can see that these tubes came down and we also had this coming out of the wall so now we have the painting tool and we're going to need that because these tubes need to have something fed to them and we actually have the first one here. We need these pylons put in here so that they can be fed up into these tubes. And over here you can see there's an actually a, a layout on the wall that shows us which colors should go where. And you can see we have this black one and that is this one here. So left of the black one needs to be yellow. So that's the one we have right here put that down there and then we actually need to create all the other pylons so let's do that just need to see how big it is Eight, one two three four five six one two three four five six yes there it is one two 
two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And now we need to paint them in the right colors. So this one should be green. Uh, up here should be red. And the last one is blue. Yes. Need to get this down. And now I need to get the tubes down. There it is. That's the sound we want to hear. And now you can actually see the elevator came down. So we're going to take it up to the next level. And here we have another puzzle, of course. To solve these diagrams, more or less, we have y-axis and x-axis. We need to be able to look through this window. And here we have a pretty standard puzzle. I've seen it, seen it in other rooms, too. Is that the combination for these switches is right around the corner here. And we can see it up here. So all the other lamps are turned on but something is different here so that means one uh, four and six need to be turned off so one four six there it is now we're looking into this hangar or warehouse or something like that we need to find the clues for these and first of all you can see clearly those are coordinates and one and two one on the x-axis and two on the y-axis and they are red so one and two that should be correct and and right here you can see the pillars over there holding up the shelves also is a clue so that means two point three so that means two the x-axis and three on the y. Oh, actually, I think I need. I actually don't remember if I have to do it like this. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it. Of course, only turn on the ones that you need to. And then we have the last one here. You can see you have to view this as a grid. So that means this green dot has moved three to right that's on the x-axis and only one up on the y-axis so that means three and one now a button emerged right here and we're going to use, th use that to get up into this elevator and that's it now we're ready to go into room number two <laughs> 